So picking off from where we left off, I told you guys to fill the table and I really hope you did. And if you did, I want you to check your answers against what I have here to see if what you got is correct. So what we end up with is, well, we did all this other crap, but that's not really the main point. The main point is we got all ones. And when we got all ones, we know that this is a tautology. A tautology. So what we set out to find is P1 and P2 and P3. We wanted to find if this implication is valid. Well, we checked it out and it fits the bill. It's all ones, it's a tautology. So the answer is, yeah, it is valid. So I hope you got that right. Um, in the next page, we got a definition and this really explains what happened in this example. So if P, Q are arbitrary statements such that P implies Q is a tautology, which we did find because we found that this, this whole P1 and P2 and P3 uh, implies Q. We found that that's a tautology, so pretty much you could just replace this P1 and P2 and P3 by a P, and that's P implies Q. That is valid. That is a tautology. So if P implies Q is a tautology, then P logically implies Q. That's also known as P uh, double bar arrow Q. That's how we that's how we write the logically implies. Uh, we write logically applies by having to, an equal sign and then an arrow at the end of that equal sign. That's logically logical implications in a sense. So when P logically implies Q, that is when implication P implies Q is a tautology, and uh, we call this uh, logical implication. I don't know where that word went, but yeah, we call this a logical implication. So yeah, we call that a logical implication. And P logically implies Q. This only happens if Q or no, this happens if Q is true whenever P is true. Because uh, what if we had one implies zero? Well, that will give us a false or that will give us a zero, not a one, that's a freaking zero. Well, that, that will give us a zero, that will give us false. And when we have a false, we can't have a tautology because the tautology must, must, it must be that every single component, every single little truth value is a one. And if we have one implies zero, well that implication is false. So if Q is true, then P must be true because one implies one. That's the only time when we get one implies one equals one. So that's that. And similarly, with P, Q being arbitrary statements, uh, the one, one of the other cases is that uh, if P is logically biconditional to Q, then uh, P biconditional Q is a tautology. So statements P, Q have the same corresponding truth value. So when you can say that whenever P is 1, then Q is 1. When, whenever P is 0, Q is 0. So in this case, uh, P implies Q and Q implies P, P are tautologies. And we have P is logically implicated. P logically implies Q and Q logically implies P. Now remember that I just said that the only time when an implication is false, I already taught you this, but I'm saying it again for emphasis, is 1 implies 0. That will give us a 0. And uh, the second thing that we got to worry about is P implies Q or logically implies Q means that P can never be 1 and Q can never be zero for the corresponding truth values because, well, that will give us a zero and that is not wanted, right? So that's the same for Q implies P. So Q can never uh, can never be one and P can never be zero for their corresponding truth values. Else, if that occurs, then we have no logical implication. So this again, we get a zero if that happens. Thus, when P implies, or when P is logical, logically, P, uh, when P logically implies Q and Q logically implies P, then the statements P, Q have the same truth values, and thus uh, P is logically biconditional to Q. So that was a mouthful, so let's see what we have next. Alright, so 
this last thing I want to talk to you, talk to you about is uh, this this symbol that we have here. That so what that means it, it means that P implies Q is not a tautology, and that just means that it's not a logical implication. And yeah, that's all I want to teach you for today. In the next video, we're gonna go through rules of inference, and I'm getting pretty tired of making all these videos, but then I gotta make them just so you guys can pass your course if screen math is super hard for you. Yeah, but uh, please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And I'll see you guys again next time for rules of inference. Thanks for watching.